everyone, CPO here, and in this video, it's gonna be a quick one. We're gonna talk about logging with the access port. So if you need uh, to do some logging for equilibrium tuning, let's say you're uh, doing some troubleshooting or you're doing custom tunes and they want logs, there's a specific logging configuration file you need to grab. I'll show you how to get it and then how to actually log from in the car. All right, the very first thing we wanna do is go to the equilibrium tuning website and find that configuration file that they have for data logging. So I'm going to the FAQ, which is full of information. If you don't know exactly where to find the log data, or you don't want to manually scroll for it, you can just use the search function and that will bring up access to the results related to logging. So there we go. Uh, you click the link, it actually takes you to the Facebook group for equilibrium tuning. And in there is the post where you can download the data log. They say to grab the most current version. So that's what I'm doing here, V2. Once you save that, your computer may try and balk and say it's not a safe file, so it's trying to protect you because of the file extension. Uh, you can choose to keep that file and it will save it for you. So you're gonna plug your access port into the USB cable that's connected to your computer where you have access port manager installed. Now you can open up your access port manager, which hopefully you're familiar with. By the way, every time I open it up, I just check for firmware updates to be sure I have the most current version. And in this case, I do. So you've got several options here. This is the list of tunes I currently have on my access port. These are my data log files from previous logs, which we'll talk about those here uh, when we get done actually showing how to log in the car. This is the actual startup image, which is uh, something that you can change if you want to customize that. I've seen people customize that. And then finally here, we have where we would put our data log configuration file. So there's two ways that you can get this over. You can import it using access port itself like this. Or you can just drag and drop from your folder where you downloaded the file to and it will import into the access port. All right, and there we go. We can unplug our access port and go to the car. All right, so once you've got your config file for your logs onto the access port, you can go ahead and put it into the car. All right, I'm just gonna turn on the ignition for the car right now so that we can go through this uh, without the engine running, just, just for the sake of the audio. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is go up to, uh, we're in sort of like data logging mode by default with the gauges. I'm gonna use the arrow up to select setup, and then you can choose configure data logging. And this is all of your possible options that you have for your data logging. Like there's a bunch of them on here, but what we wanna do is use the preset that was in the config file. So I'm gonna arrow up past AFR, the top one, to set up the green arrow there. Hit OK. And then you can clear all monitors if you want. Uh, that clears everything out, you see? And I did that so you can see uh, that when we do load data log preset, it's gonna add those back in. So the EQT custom data log list is the EQT log list uh, underscore MPI dot CFG that we had already uh, added to the access port. It's the only one there. So I'm gonna select that. And then already um, we can go back, hit the back button and see that now all of these green items are things that are being logged. So you can customize if there's something specific you're looking for that's not in that default log, you can certainly add to it. Um, but if, again, if you're, if you're logging for EQT and you're sending these logs to them, I would leave it at the defaults because that's what they wanna see. Now to actually start data logging, if you're driving your vehicle, uh, you'll, want to be in this gauges screen. So uh, you can see here gauges, performance, troubleshooting, tune, uninstall. Hopefully you're familiar with most of this stuff. Um, go to gauges. You can configure what's on here on your gauge list and that does not change 
what you're actually logging with a data log. These are different than what's in the data log. So to change these, by the way, just arrow down and select them. And like I have uh, accelerator pedal position here, I can select that and then change monitor and I can make that whatever I want it to be. I was using accelerator pedal position because I was doing some testing that related to uh, how far my pedals pressed. And you can see here I'm pressing the pedal. And so I can see my pedal position. So it made it easy to do a consistent, uh, say, 30% pedal position or a consistent 50% pedal position because I can see it right there in the live data. So anyway, now that we have everything set, we're driving our car, we want to make a log run. All you do is press the center button and you'll see this light moving up like that. It says logging at the top and down at the bottom it says logging at 43 hertz, 44 hertz. So that means you're actually generating a data log. To stop logging, just press the middle button again and now at the top it says not logging. So there have been times where I have thought I was logging when I wasn't because either I press it too long, like I just did a long like second press, it did not start logging. So you just want to tap it and then look for that blue light. And once you see that blue light, you know you're logging. So uh, I advise always check for that. Then, yeah, press it and you're done. So now let's talk about getting the logs off of the car. So you're going to unplug your access port from your car, take it back in to your computer. Now to get our logs off, we go back to the data log section in, in the access port manager after we plugged our access port back into the computer. And then you can see here, I can either select one or more or all of the logs and export them out using the access port manager software itself, or I can drag and drop them over to a folder of my choosing on my computer. So two different ways to get things on and off of the access port using the access port manager software. Once you have the data log off on your computer, viewing it is a different story. It's a CSV file. Most people use DataZap. You can go to datazap.me and that's a great place to upload the logs in a way that's visual. If you're not interested necessarily in viewing them yourself, you just need to send them off to EQT you can just send them this CSV file in an email and they'll know what to do with it. Anyway guys, I hope that helps. If it does, please hit the like button, subscribe, comment, because uh, the more engagement I get on this channel, the more it's gonna get noticed by people that need access to this content. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.